Hey guys, Drew with Goose Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we are buying a really big coin today. We're also going to take you along for a few things that we bought in Ohio from a few coin shops. Bought some fresh deals, bought some exciting things. We can't wait to talk to you guys about it. Let's get this video started. We wanted to take a quick moment and thank you guys for all the support on the last video. Buying that $25,000 collection was a big haul for us, and you guys bought a lot of the great coins that were on there. There's still a lot of great coins on AkushaCollectibles.com, so make sure to check them out. But we ended up walking into Ohio Estates, which is a local coin shop um, in Cleveland, Ohio. And we ended up starting to buy coins from them, pick up a few things that we ordered from them. And there was another dealer that walked in that started to sell the shop some coins. And so what they did was they're like, hey, we just bought these coins, Drew. Do you want to buy them from us? And so they ended up turning around, showing us some really great coins. And so we're going to spend a few minutes showing you guys all the things that we picked up from Ohio Estates. And make sure to stick around to the end of the video because we're going to show you guys a massive coin that we ended up buying on the way home from Ohio. It's going to be a cool coin. All right, guys. Back in the bathroom here. Ready to show you some stuff. Here's one thing that we bought from that deal. So if you guys don't know anything about jam bars, half ounce are pretty rare to find. They're pretty expensive. They're well over the premium of uh, silver. These sell for anywhere between 100 and 130 bucks. This one has a scratch on it, so it's about 100 bucks. Cool stuff like that to run into at shops because you can make a few bucks here and there. Here's a little knickknack to show you guys. The 81S Morgan Dollar. You know, it has a, you know, it's kind of a low MS coin, but does have a little charm on the reverse. This stuff we normally post kind of on our eBay just because it sells easier on there. And we want to declutter our website as much as possible, only give you guys the best stuff. So if you want to check out some more affordable, interesting items, our eBay's there. We have this 1827 cap bust half dollar. So this one with the other coin I'm going to show you at the end, uh, just walked right into the shop. And there was a dealer there selling it to the dealer that owned the shop. And then he said, hey, Drew, do you want to make a, you know, a few bucks? I make a few bucks. And he ended up showing us this coin. <clears throat> a few little scuffs on the holder, as you can see. Kind of have to fix that up a little bit. But most likely a coin we're going to send to CEC. Just perfect, wholesome, original. I mean, just an, a, a beautiful coin. Up next, we have a few Roman Empire ancients that they had in the shop. I like these just because of how defined the coin was. How nice of a strike this coin is. The detail is... Is pretty phenomenal and uh, I don't know there's something about these when you're buying them at like you know around a hundred bucks around 200 bucks I don't mind taking a stab at them making ten bucks or making five bucks on a cool coin like this just because you never know if somebody uh, might want to sell us one of those or if we run into them in a different shop we're kind of building up a base uh, you know some more more common stuff like this 1941s mercury dime ms63 just cool stuff to uh, you know keep the hobby going in, in terms of affordable coins to offer. Then we have this 46s Roosevelt dime in an old soapbox holder. It's got some like album toning to the coin, and it's probably like a 67 by today's standards. But I don't think there's really a jump. I don't think it really matters in that grade. Just a cool little vintage holder. Then we have another Roman Empire ancient here. It's Choice AU. Just look at the strike once again. I mean, just phenomenal. You can see the detail so well. I love that. Some, you know, ancients you run into, you can't even see the design. Looks like a little piece of silver, a little piece of copper. Really doesn't jump out at me, but when you see the design, this emphasized, it's just super nice. Then we had some better type coins. So this 1907 came in with the 1827 cap bust half. Nice luster, white, barber half. Not going to make a ton of money on a coin like this, but it is pretty nice to see this. And it's good to have those higher end coins on your website in case someone's trying to fill out a set. Then we have two Week D Lincoln Cents. And it's, oh, well, I'm sorry, not Week D. No D Week Reverse Lincoln Cents. One's Fine 15 Brown. These always sell well for us because there's so many collectors out there looking for it. Especially, you know, it's actually rather affordable in, in a weak reverse rather than a strong reverse. And taking a look here is the Fine 12 Brown. You can see how soft and mushy the reverse is 
on these uh, these weak reverses. And so just rather nice coins. I think they just got back, those back from grading. But here's the big kahuna of the whole entire buy. This is an 1893S Morgan Dollar. Go to VG10. I think this one, in case he believes it too, has a good shot at a sticker. And that's why we bought it. And so when you flip it over, it's got that same type of look to it. But it has this little darkness right here on the rim. That might hold it back. But we're going to show you guys this coin more in the CAC video that we have coming out shortly. We did pay 4000 for the coin. And, uh, you know, make 10% maybe when it's all said and done. But definitely a nice group of coins that we got from the shop. Today's the day, baby. Ended up sitting down with a shop. And we ended up buying this 1879cc cap die Morgan Dollar. So, uh, it's a fresh coin. Came into his shop over the counter. Um, he's had it for a long time. He really doesn't show many people his fresh or new coins. But he wanted to lay it out to us one day, show us, and we finally might have a customer for it. So we ended up reaching back out to him, and we bought this coin today. And it's just phenomenal to be able to hold this in your hand as someone that works with coins all the time. You know, you get to handle coins from five dollars to ten thousand dollars to this one. You know, it's probably fourteen, fifteen thousand dollars. Hopefully, it's stickers, but just uh, surreal day, surreal day. But a little bit better date for sure. Key date of the series and the condition is is all there. Howdy, how are you doing? So guys, it's midnight, just got, well, so guys, it's over past midnight. We just got to the hotel in uh, Mississippi, Missouri. Well, I don't even know where we are, I'm so tired. But I wanted to talk to you guys very quickly about something that we got back recently. I'm sure you guys will love it. So we got back this 1907 High Relief, graded AU55 by PCGS, CEC approved. Uh, one of our first purchases of the fun show, we ended up buying this coin, and then we ended up getting an AU58 CAC in a little bit later, about a week and a half later, and so we had the customer uh, reach back out to us and say, hey, can I just get a quick upgrade? And so now we have this coin back in our inventory. Just a super cool piece, and uh, so excited to be able to offer another great coin like this on our website at kushcollectibles.com. Uh, just, uh, just an awesome, awesome piece of gold. All right, guys, so we had an action-packed day. We not only bought those cool coins from Ohio States, we also bought the 79cc. We also got the high relief back. All in one video, just a crazy day for sure. We ended up driving 12 hours from Ohio down to Mississippi. Is that where we were at? But uh, so thankful that you guys wanted to watch this video to the end. Make sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts on the coins that we share with you guys today. Which one was your favorite? And subscribe. We've got videos coming out every single week. We want you guys to be a part. I'm going to get some rest. I'll see you guys Monday.